first the mole how we define a mole of a substance the definition of a mole the mole is amount of substance in gram that has the same number of particle in 12 gram of carbon 12. this is a standard definition but simply you can say mole is amount of substance which is expressed in gram so if i say i have we have carbon which is 6 and 12 so what is the atomic mass of the carbon the stop number is atomic mass or mass number and here in the bottom it is atomic number so when we have the same atomic mass or mass number in gram we call that as a one mole of substance so in case of carbon because it is 12 so when we have 12 grams of carbon it means we have one mole of carbon and if we have one mole of carbon one mole of any substance will have 6.02 into 10 power 23 particles because this time we have atom so the particle we can specify as atom so one mole of any substance contains 6 exponent 23 particles or atoms and mole is the amount of substance which is expressed in gram so atomic mass or molecular mass which is expressed in gram is simply called or known as the mole same way like example if i say h2o so in h2o hydrogen is 1 and multiply by 2 plus oxygen is 16 multiply by 1 so total will be 18 so if we have same amount same molecular mass in grams so if we have 18 grams of h2o how many moles will be there it will have one mole of h2o or water and one mole of water because these are group of atoms or molecule so it will have 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules is it clear the concept of the moles so mole is simply amount of substance which is expressed in gram another example if we have 24 as we know magnesium is 12 and 24 so if we have 24 grams of magnesium it means we will have one mole of magnesium and one mole of a magnesium will have 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 because magnesium is the atom so this will be atoms if we have half of it like half of 24 which is 12 so if we have 12 grams of magnesium it means we will have 0 0.5 moles of magnesium and because it's an atom so this will be half mole so 3.01 into the power 23 atoms will be there in this half moles So mole is simply amount of substance which is expressed in gram. Then you should be able to define a term relative atomic mass. How we define a term relative atomic mass? So when we have a substance, as we know that carbon it is 12 and 6 so we have a carbon 12 and we divide this carbon 12 into 12 equal pieces
so we divide this carbon into 12 equal pieces so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so if we have carbon 12 and we divide this into 12 equal pieces so mass of one unit will be mass of each will be one unit like each will be one so the, the theoretically when we compare this so we have like a balance and we have an unknown element x we don't know its mass so an unknown element x is there and to balance this x we took three units of carbon 12 three parts of carbon 12 so if we took three parts of carbon 12 to balance x So what it shows, the number of the units which we use to balance because the mass of each unit is 1. So number of units we of carbon 12 we use to balance this x, that will be the mass of this x. So if it's an element, it will be, or if it's an atom, it will be atomic mass. If it was a molecule, then it will be a molecular mass. So what is x? The mass of x, mass of x will be 3. So we can say relative atomic mass, if it was atom, then we say relative atomic mass is equals to 3 units. Is it clear the concept of relative atomic mass? It's a mass of element which is compared with the 12th part of carbon 12. And if there is another element element y is there And its mass is unknown. And we took five units of carbon twelve to balance this. So what is the mass of this element Y? What is a relative atomic mass? We can also represent by AR, capital A and small R. If it's an atom, then atomic mass, if the element is in a molecular state or if it's a compound, then it will be a molecular mass. So in this case, what is the relative atomic mass? So relative atomic mass will be equal to 5. So if element is existing as an atom, then it will be atomic. But what, for example, if it was a molecule, like example, it was y2 group of atoms are known as molecule so if it was y2 we will not write atomic mass in that case what we will say we will say it is relative molecular mass and then we represent by capital m and small r so in that case relative molecular mass will be equal to 5 so if it is a molecule then molecular mass if element exists as an atom then atomic mass or if it was a compound then also it is a molecular mass then what is molar mass molar mass is a mass of one mole of substance So the mass of one mole of a substance that's called a molar mass. Example, 
hydrogen which is h2 so hydrogen is h2 what is the molar mass of hydrogen because mass of one hydrogen relative atomic mass of hydrogen is one and multiply by how many hydrogen are there two so one multiply by two two multiply by one or one multiply by two this, so this will be two and the unit will be gram per mole like if we have one mole of hydrogen it will have two grams for each mole same thing one mole of calcium carbonate CaCO3 so what is the mass of one mole of calcium carbonate calcium is 40 plus carbon is 12 plus oxygen 16 multiplied by 3 so 40 plus 12 52 and for 16 multiplied by 3 48 so total will be 100 so the final answer will be 100 gram per mole so the mass of one mole of a substance which is expressed in gram that is called a molar mass and the unit of molar mass is gram per mole same way one mole of oxygen oxygen atomic mass is 16 multiplied by 2 so 16 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 32 gram per mole one mole of h2so4 Hydrogen is 1 multiplied by 2 plus sulfur is 32 plus oxygen 16 multiplied by 4. So this total will be equal to 98 gram per mole. So molar mass is simply the mass of one mole of a substance which is expressed in grams. Is it clear? The molar mass. So these are the definitions which are important. The first one which is about the mole. So the mole is the amount of substance in gram that has the same number of particles as the atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12 or one mole of carbon 12. How many atoms are there? same number of particles or Avogadro you can also say mole is amount of substance which contain Avogadro's number of particles. The definition of relative atomic mass it's an average mass it's important you use the term average so average mass of one atom compared with a one twelfth of carbon 12 so this is a standard definition and the molar mass is a mass in gram of one mole of a substance and the unit is gram per mole. Is it clear the three definitions, the concept of mole, the relative atomic mass and the molar mass? Then there are some formulas which we use to calculate the moles depending on the question so for most calculation for as we'll use these following equation three equation number one for pure solid and gases the formula which you use amount or moles instead of amount you can say moles equal mass in gram divided by molar mass the second formula Volume of a gas in dm cube is equals to amount. Here the term amount means moles. Multiply by 24. And this formula is only valid when there is a 25 degree centigrade or 298 Kelvin. So when it is 25 degree centigrade or 298 Kelvin. And the pressure is 1 atm. Then only we use this formula to calculate for gases. And if you are calculating solution, then concentration is equal to amount divided by volume or moles divided by volume. The unit conversion volume should be in dm cube. So if you want to convert cm cube into dm cube, we should divide by 1000. If you want to convert cm cube into meter cube, then we should divide it by 1 million. 
and dm cube to meter cube again we should divide by 1000 so simple questions are there some simple calculation using the above equation so the first example what is the amount in mole for 35 grams of copper sulfate so 35 grams of copper sulfate is there mass of solid is given so we use the first formula so the first formula moles equal mass in gram divided by molar mass so mass in gram is 35 what about the molar mass so we have to check the periodic table we have copper sulfate so which is CuSO4 you can see the mass of copper 64 mass of sulfur 32 and mass of oxygen is 16 so when you are working out the molar mass of copper sulfate so copper is 64 plus sulfur is 32 plus oxygen is 16 multiplied by 4 so this will give you the total mass of copper sulfate which is in the in the, the table the periodic table exact is 63.5 so you will substitute 63.5 so the total mass and the moles when you divide them you will get as 0 0.219 moles for copper sulfate for example two they are asking what is the concentration of a solution made by dissolving 5 grams of sodium carbonate in 250 cm cube of water so to get, get the concentration we need the last formula but directly you cannot use the large, last formula why you cannot use the last formula because here amount of moles to get the concentration and you need a volume you have the volume but that volume is in cm cube so you have to convert into dm cube but you don't know the moles you don't know the amount you have the mass so first you have to use the first formula that moles equal mass in gram divided by molar mass so molar mass of sodium carbonate sodium is 23 and multiply by 2 because 2 sodium are there plus carbon is 12 plus oxygen 16 multiply by 3 so this will give you the amount of the moles which are 0 0.0472 moles so these are the moles of sodium carbonate you need concentration which is mole divided by volume so 0 0.0472 are there and what about the volume to convert the cm cube into dm cube you have to divide by 1000 so when you divide by 1000 it will come out as 0 0.25 dm cube so the concentration moles divided by volume so you'll get as 0 0.189 mole per dm cube as a concentration of this is it clear The second example, how we calculate the concentration. And about the third one, what is the volume in dm cube at a room temperature? So room temperature is considered as 25. Because in the question, if they specify it's a room temperature, so we consider that as 25. Otherwise, if it is temperature is not 25, then you cannot use this formula. Then we use another formula that we'll discuss later in the class. So, what is the volume in dm cube at room temperature and pressure for 50 grams of carbon dioxide? So, first, because to use this formula, we should know the amount, the mole. And then we'll multiply by 24. So from mass and gram divide by molar mass, carbon dioxide molar mass is 44. So we divide, we'll get 1.136. And after getting the moles or amount, multiply by 24. So we'll get the volume in decimeter cube. And whenever you write the answer, you should always write your answer in three significant figure. So it will come out as 27.3 decimeter cube. So these are the three examples related to the formulas. Number one, moles equal mass in gram divided by molar mass, usually used for pure solid and gases. The second one, 
moles equal volume uh, volume of a gas equal moles or amount multiplied by 24 and the third one for solution concentration is equals to moles or amount divided by volume but the volume should be in decimeter cube then how to find the number of the particles or concept of avogadro's constant so we know the mole is amount of substance that has the same number of particles as there in carbon 12, 12 gram of carbon 12 and 12 gram of carbon 12, how many particles are there? It contains 6.02 into 10 to 23 particles. So if we have 6.02 into 10 to 23 particles, we call that as one mole of a substance as this number is known as Avogadro's number. So if we have one mole of copper, so one mole of copper atom, how many particles will be there? It will have 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms because it's an atom. But if we have one mole of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is a molecule, so it will contain 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. And one mole of sodium ion will contain, if substance is an ion, then it contains the same particles or number in ion. So one mole of a sodium ion contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 ions. And how we get the number of the particles? So number of particle is amount of substance or mole multiplied by Avogadro's constant. So in the first example, how many tin atoms are there in 6 gram of sample? So how we work out? First we'll work out the moles or amount. Mass in gram is 6 divided by relative atomic mass because tin is an atom. Metal is there, atomic, uh, relative atomic mass we use. So we'll get the number of the moles. And number of moles multiplied by Vagato's number. So it will have 3.02, 3.04 into 10 to the power 22. And this time it will be atoms. And same question, how many chloride ions are there? How many chloride ions are there in 25 gram of solution of magnesium chloride of concentration 0.4? So how we can work out this? We need only chloride ions. So if we need only chloride ions, first what we do? We'll get the moles of magnesium chloride. Because they're asking how many moles are there? How many chloride ions are there in zero point in a concentration of MgCl2 is 0 0.4 mole per dm cube and volume of magnesium chloride 25 cm cube so divided by 1000 it will come out as 0 0.025. So first what we will do to get the total number of chloride line first we should know moles of magnesium chloride. So moles of magnesium chloride, moles is concentration into volume. So concentration is given 0.4, volume is there 0.025. So when we multiply them 0.01 moles will get. So these are the moles of magnesium chloride but they are not asking for magnesium chloride moles. They're asking for total number of ions of chloride. So to get the total number of chloride ions, we should know how many chloride ions are there. So we have magnesium chloride. When it dissociates, it will dissociate into magnesium ion and two chloride ions. So what is the ratio of magnesium chloride to chloride ion? It is one is to two. Like one mole of magnesium chloride gives two chloride ions. So if we have 0 0.01 moles of magnesium chloride, then how many chloride ions will be there? X. We cross multiply. This will give us the moles of chloride ions. 0 0.02 moles of chloride ion. And now to get the number of the ions, number of ions is equals to amount or mole multiplied by Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So 0 0.02 are the moles and 6.02 to 10 to the power 23. So we'll get the total number which is 1.2 into 10 to the power 22. Chloride ions will be there 
in this magnesium chloride. Is it clear this example? So first what we did, we work out because we were having the amount of magnesium chloride. So using the volume and concentration of magnesium chloride, we got the moles of magnesium chloride. And then we use a ratio to know the moles of chloride ion in magnesium chloride as the ratio is 1 is to 2. And after getting the moles of the chloride ion multiplied by Avogadro's number to get the total number of chloride ion in the solution. Is it clear this example? To everyone? Yes, uh, Saleh Abdullah. So same way we can use this to work out the molecules, to work out the atoms. So if I say I have um, 22 grams of carbon dioxide, find total number of atoms. So we have 22 grams of carbon dioxide and we want to work out the total number of atoms. Carbon dioxide is a molecule. So first we'll find the moles of carbon dioxide. So moles of carbon dioxide mass in gram divided by molar mass. So mass in gram is 22, molar mass of carbon is 12, oxygen 16 multiplied by 2, so total will be 44. So we'll get 0 0.5 moles of carbon dioxide. But how many atoms are there? That's the question. So one molecule. So what is a molecule to atom ratio when we have one molecule of carbon dioxide? How many atoms are there? It contains carbon, it contains oxygen and oxygen. So the one molecule contains basically three atoms. So in one molecule, there are three atoms. So if we have 0 0.5 moles of carbon dioxide, how many moles of atoms will be there? X. So it will be 1.5 moles of atom. And to get the total number of atom, what we'll do? We'll multiply by Avogadro's number 6 into 10 to the power 23. That will give us the total number of atoms. If they ask for molecule directly, because carbon dioxide is a molecule, we'll multiply this number by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. But because we're asking about the number of atoms, so we have to convert the number of molecules to number of atoms or moles of molecule to moles of atoms and then multiply by Avogadro's number. Is it clear this example? So it depends on the question. If they're asking for ions, like you have uh, say aluminum chloride, AlCl3, and the question is find the ions, total ions. So the ratio of aluminum, because aluminum chloride will dissociate into aluminum ion and three chloride ion. So the ratio of the molecule is to ion is one is to four. So you can work out the ratio and find the number of ions. So Today we discuss the main concept of the moles by using a formula and working out different example finding the number of particles. In the next session we'll discuss the general gas equation. Any question related to the class today? So I'll end the session and share this recording with you. You can uh, copy the lecture notes by using the video recording.